Hey guys, welcome back to the Coco channel and to another dating horror stories. Um, if you missed any of the other ones, I will link them down below or just the playlist um, so you can kind of catch up with, it kind of goes in order of this same dude. I do have other guys coming up. <laughs> sound like a slut um but I have so much drama with this one particular guy um who we named ass if you remember so um this one is gonna kind of build off of what happened the last time with going to the hospital um for that guy that got stabbed <laughs> June <sighs> okay so remember I told you that these two idiots are friends because they're both crips Cribs? I don't even know. The blue gang? I don't know. Well, even though they're Cribs, <laughs> it sounds so stupid, but they took it very serious. Um, they had a friend who was a blood, and his name was Viet. It was the weirdest name, Viet. Like Vietnam, but his name was just Viet. He was white and Vietnamese. So anyways, he's a blood. <laughs> it's so stupid. Okay, and he is a gigantic a-hole. Just, I mean, he's so mean and vicious and just like zero concept of like brutality, you know what I mean? And very violent. He had no qualms being violent and carried weapons on him and, you know, things of that sort. So, as gang members usually do, right? Um, so one night we're at our apartment and this guy used to come around quite often and I just didn't even really talk to him that much, you know what I mean? Because I just didn't want anything to do with him. I just was absolutely terrified of him, to be honest. Like I was scared of this dude. Um, but he had a friend who was also a blood and it was a girl. Her name was Kat and she was freaking awesome, right? She was so much fun. Little did I know how terrifying she is as well, and is almost like Viet's, um, how do I want to say this? Like, not like assassin, but like if there was an issue he had with a girl, he called her, and with zero questions asked, Kat would beat the shit out of girls, you know what I mean? I think I warned you guys in previous videos that I feel like these ones I cuss a lot in, which I'm sorry, but anyways. <laughs> So, I should have put a necklace on. My neck looks so bare. Um, so, Viet and his cousin came over one night, and his cousin's girlfriend, who I felt like it was a rare occasion that there was another white girl, and she was, and so her and I, you know, were talking, and of course there's drinking involved. Like I told you guys, that's basically all we did as a couple, and with, like, his friends was drink. So this night, you know, they come over and I guess what had happened was the girlfriend of Viet's cousin, his name was, I think, Anthony. I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure his name was Anthony. So Anthony's girlfriend, I couldn't even tell you her name, was like messing around with his emotions somehow. Don't ask me how. Um, but she like broke up with him, I think, and then wanted to get back together with him. This is so intense that I'm even remembering this. So we're chilling in my house, you know, and me and the girl are in my living room and we're like <sighs> leaning up against this couch. Well, Anthony made the mistake of telling Viet that this girl was like messing with his emotions and this, this, and that. <sighs> Her and I are leaning up against the couch and I can't remember, I want to say that Kat was there, but for some reason, I don't know why, Viet took it upon himself to deal with the situation. So her and I are standing there and literally it felt like it was in slow motion. I saw Viet punch this girl in the face. Mind you, I'm like sitting right next to her. I remember leaning up against my couch talking to her and just like seeing his fist come across my face like it felt like it was in slow motion and he punched this girl so hard that she passed out like he knocked, literally knocked her out, right? So she falls to the floor and Anthony comes over and he's like, what the hell? But another word. And so Viet punches him and knocks him out. 
Like, this dude's a fighter, you know what I mean? Like, you can tell he's fought before. He knows what to do. He knocks both of these people out in my house, and my mind is blown. Number one, that he would hit a girl. Number two, that he hit his own family member, which there was, like, a whole thing in the gang world where, like, family becomes... I don't know, like, isn't family, like, come first and shit like that, you know? So, I just remember screaming, you know what I mean? Not even, like, at the top of my lungs, like, ah! Like, just, like, letting his ass have it. Like, even though I was scared, you know what I mean? I felt like you just knocked a girl out, number one. Number two, it's in my house, you know what I mean? Which, I lived on a second floor apartment, so there's people above me and below me. Like, you're gonna get the cops called on us, you know what I mean? So the girl wakes up, and she is bleeding from the nose and her mouth. Like, where he hit her, the her teeth hit the inside of her lip, and, you know what I mean, hit her nose. I don't even know if it was broken, I don't think so. So, he starts yelling at her, and so ass in all of this was sitting there silently but when she woke up he finally like took it via it outside and I took her into my room and locked the door because I didn't want him coming after her again you know what I mean and it was insane it was completely insane and completely that is when that was the situation that I was in where I really started to question like my safety um, and that's when things I think started going downhill with ass because after all of that Viet and his cousin left I ended up taking this girl home and she's just bawling her eyes out she has absolutely no idea what she did wrong she's never been attacked by a boy before which you know what I mean you know she was just absolutely like in shock you know what I mean but she was just absolutely bawling her eyes out I told her or tried to tell her you know what I mean like don't mess with this kid anymore if he's gonna bring his cousin around which you know what I mean like just goes to show the type of guy that this guy was at anyway that he you know what I mean he tried to stick up for her but then he ended up leaving with his cousin anyway you know what I mean so it was just a really terrifying situation and in the coming weeks you'll find out you know what I mean what happened with ass but like this really was like the focal like turning point in the relationship where I was like what am I doing like it took a stabbing and me like taking this dude to the hospital and seeing a girl get knocked out like for me to be like what are you doing you know what I mean so next week we'll find out some more idiotic stuff that happened that you know what I mean eventually ended the relationship so let me know if you guys have ever experienced anything like this or if it's just me being you know the dumb 21 year old by this time maybe 22 no I think I was 21 I don't think I turned 22 while I was with this dude so anyways just let me know if um you have anything crazy like what's happening down below I love you guys I hope you're enjoying the horror story horror story I hope you guys are enjoying the horror story series where it is retail and dating and everything in between um, give it a thumbs up if you are enjoying it if you're new hello and welcome my name is Brittany Coco you are watching the Coco channel please subscribe if you're not already I will catch you guys in my next video bye